Welcome to the B-Man 97 channel. Uh, today, I just want to talk about my old top bar hive. It's uh, middle of November, so not a lot of bee action going on anyways. But a uh, beautiful day anyways, out here in the Sunshine State. It's supposed to be like 61 degrees or something. Um, yeah, so let's get going. So this is a hive, one of the first hives I built. Um, I was kind of a new beekeeper at the time, so I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just kind of half-heartedly following some plans on the internet and uh, kind of winging it as I went. Um, didn't actually even know about bee space at the time, so that was a big issue with this hive. But uh, regardless of that, um, I was actually pretty proud of it when I built it. So if, for those of you that don't know what a top bar hive is, is it's basically a trough, and you have these little planks that go across and the bees will build off the top here and they'll build their comb inside the, the trough like that and they'll work their way from the front of the hive to the back uh, I had two uh, entrances um, right next to each other with a little lander on the front which I they liked to, to use it to guard um, when they were in there uh, yeah, so I originally put a recon package in here, and what had happened was, instead of running completely horizontal along this bar like they're in theory supposed to, so you could pull the bar up and the comb would be hanging off of it, um, if you want any more information about that, just look up the top bar hive and on YouTube and you'll find plenty of videos about it. I don't know if you can see this, but what ended up happening is you can see the comb here. They ended up going diagonally along several of the bars. Um, like this so I couldn't pull out individual um, bars so I could never really inspect this hive so what it ended up doing was I just kind of for the first year I kind of just was like well I'm not really sure how to do this so I'm just gonna leave them you know they seem to be doing fine didn't really get to inspect them like I wanted to so I'm like if I can't inspect them what's the purpose you know so what I did was after a while they worked their way a little bit further down the line and what I did was I um, let me see if I can find one of the frames that I might have done it on right here so something like this I'd put a bead of wax down and I put some foundation on there and they pulled off the foundation and so I started getting them to go straight which was really nice um, but overall the high was kind of weak in general so they never really filled the comb and um, I also have this runner, a runner here. So basically what you do, instead of letting the bees have this entire space, as they work their way this way, you move the runner back and back and you keep moving um, planks from that side to this side. And you push this back and it allows them to have as much room as you think they need. Which I thought was a great design. I mean, overall top bar hives have pretty good design. The only problem is they're not conventional. Secondly, the hive takes up this much room versus a top or a Langstroth you can build up vertically. So you're only taking up a small area where this one you can take up much more area. I'd rather just have, if you're into that natural comb building, <coughs> I like like I am, I'd rather have a Langstroth and just let them build naturally in there. Um, overall, it was a decent hive. I had a piece of plywood on top so nothing would happen. Um, down beneath there was a screen at the bottom but what ended up happening was when we moved this it fell off I just had to staple down there we're not very secure but uh, so I'm going to show some video of me um, well it's the very end of me cutting out this hive and moving away into another you can see that the um, we did that cut out in last May so about six months ago you can see the very end of it where they're uh, fanning to let everyone know Come to this new hive that's where the queen is and uh worked out pretty well so i'll show you that video right now
So from that cutout, I uh, made a little comb display. Um, I got it in my house. I just put some, I guess, one by six, stained it, and uh, screwed the top bars into it. Made them stand from a dowel, and just have it display. People love to see this all the time when they're coming to my house. It's great. So that was something that I did with some of the leftover wax from that cutout, and it was pretty great. You can see that. It was all completely empty. Like I said, this is the part where they started drawing it out straight after I put foundation, but they never really filled it in. So I just had empty straight comb, which I found kind of weird. But uh, yeah, so this is something I really like having in my house. Uh, people are always impressed with it. It's not often that they actually get to see natural comb hanging. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty great. So this is the hive that I transplanted them into. For those of you that have been following the channel, you know I've done inspections on it before. Uh, the transplant was successful. Um, the queen isn't the greatest, so I might requeen her, but she seems fine enough to me. Um, so yeah, let me show you some entrance activity today. Probably about 50 degrees out, maybe. You can see they're just kind of out there warming themselves up. Not really any plants or anything going on, so... This side, got a little bit of wasp issue. There's a wasp. Two weeks ago, I killed over 200 wasps right in this area. It was pretty ridiculous. All right, thanks for watching the B Man 97 channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Hit the like and subscribe button. Have a great day.